Foster family, my lovelies, how are you? I hope you are doing really well and big welcome to my number 11 floss tube video. It's been over three weeks, not quite a month. I had originally planned to film this at the beginning of February or the very end of Jan, but I had everything set up and I just wanted to put everything away. So I thought, okay, I just come to you a few days earlier and it really doesn't matter. I've pretty much got everything that I have stitched on and um, I won't be, I don't think I'll stitch on much more, but I'll just show you that in the next Floss 2 video. So today is the 27th of January, a day after Australia Day. Hello to all the Australians. And it's about 9 a.m. in the morning. My partner's gone for his big long walk in the morning. So I thought, let's just get this floss tube going. I'm very cash, so I hope it's okay. But I've got a bit of makeup on, so I don't scare anyone. And I'd just like to say, I have reached over 400 subscribers. And wow, that is amazing. I mean, for me, I, you know, people actually coming to watch me I'm just flattered because it, it's beautiful the messages that I get it's just um, I just I just love it I mean I, I do this for you because you come and watch me and I do it for me so that I have a history of what I've been stitching on but over 400 thank you to all my um, regular subscribers and thank you to my new subscribers I am forever grateful keep them coming if you like this video please subscribe and please like this video and if you have any comments or questions just leave a message below I answer all my comments that's what I like to do okay so moving on what do I have I do have a big finish this is a big finish it's when I originally started, I didn't think it was as big as I thought it would be, but it's huge. And I have 10 whips to show you. So I've worked on 10 whips throughout the time since my previous video. Shout outs. And I've got, a, I've got a couple of giveaways because I am so grateful. I want to show you how grateful I am. So that'll be at the end. So, so stay tuned to the end. I'll do that later on. Um, so I think let's start with my finish. Now, some of you may have seen it. If you follow me on Instagram, I've just got it because I had it hanging up because I just don't know where to put it in the meantime. I have finished, I'm going to just step back, The Lord's Prayer by my big toe. And let me tell you, this was a big feat. It's taken me about 18 months to finish it from beginning to end. But I've done it. I was determined to finish it. And now I'm going to come a little bit closer. I've made some minor changes to it. So this motif there, I did not like that motif. I just thought it was an ugly motif. So I cut it short and I put my initials there. So that's what I've done. Um, there's a couple of mistakes but nothing that would um, change or ruin the the actual pattern. Oh God, here I'm stretching up. I, I can't, I'm just looking through the fabric. So I hope you can see. I have, I've added that green, as you can see in the border, just to break up the color. And there's a bit of green as well, just to link it to the body. So it was, it, it was, sorry, I've got a bit of hay fever, so. I'm a bit sniffly so this took I mean it took a while but I have to say I enjoyed it I will frame it 
I don't know when, but it will get framed at some stage. Of course, it's going to have to be a big frame. I stitched this on 18 count Ada and it's called All the Things by Mystic Fabrics. I did use the call forward threads, which were at MPI. And I just threw in that green one as well. So I'm just going to hang this back up. So I'm going to pop out of view for just one second. I'm just hanging it up over here. So I'm happy with that. It's a, be it's a beautiful finish. So, sorry, I need to, um, I am a bit sniffly. I've, it's just how it is here, the hay fever. Okay, so new whips. I have a couple of, um, well, they're not whips. They're going to be new starts. So I've um, gathered all the threads and I have a really interesting story with one of them. Very interesting. I was, I was actually quite shocked when I received it in the mail. But anyway. I'll get to that. So the first one is the Gold Collection Antique Santa Treat. I had to start this one. I have changed the fabric. I am still using an 18 count, but I'm using sandstone opalescent and um, it's going to look good. I just did not like the cream and I thought if I'm going to go to all the trouble of stitching this, I need to like my fabric. And I wasn't liking that cream. It just wasn't nice. I mean, for me, you do you, I do me. I, you know, we all do what we like. So 18 count, and this is it here. It's, it's opalescent, so it has a nice sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see that. So it's got a bit of that natural cream and a bit of a gray. So I think that'll go really nicely. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. So that's it there. I have, I had to sort through the threads. That was painful. <laughs> I don't like doing that. <laughs> oh, I, I, I said to Laura from my stitch bird, oh, I wish I lived a bit closer to you so you could do this for me because I just don't enjoy it. But they're all, they're all the colours. They're all being sorted. There's some gold thread as well. And I'm not sure what this... It's kind of like wool, but gold thread, which will go through it. So that'll definitely be a start. I don't know when, but definitely a start this year. The next planned start is... This is beautiful. When I saw it, I saw this, another floss tuber. Now, unfortunately, I can't remember who it was. Um, if you know who you are, please leave a message down below. If you're watching my floss tube, you may not even be watching it. But this is by Rorschach. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have purchased the hanger from 123 Stitch. I didn't buy that. Oh, because I would have had to order it from the US and, and the shipping is far too expensive so I just purchased it from um, an Australian shop here and there are you see the little buttons there as well the cute so they'll that'll go in there I have decided but I'm still not sure if I'm going to use this and I had to use the same count as what they've used so that it fits onto that hanger. They've used 32, so I've gone for a 16. I think that's right. <gasps> yeah, it is right. <laughs> I had to count for a moment. I think that was called French lace. So I think I might use that. I'm not entirely sure. I'm still playing around with the fabric. I just have, these are all, they're all variegated, sulky threads. I have periwinkle coming, because periwinkle wasn't in stock at the time when I purchased it. But they're all lovely, beautiful variegated threads. So, that's a plant start. 
the next one that I am going to do and I also saw this stitched from another floss tuber and yes I should be writing down names who it is but I just don't I can't remember garden gate by the drawn thread that is beautiful I love gates and things like that and, and the, all the greenery so that that really that really caught my attention and I thought no I, I need to do this one this one is going to be done I also have pulled out this fabric I still don't know if I'll use it but when I put the threads against it it did look quite good it's a big piece so I, I will cut it down it's an 18 count cord I think it's clone I just don't have my glasses so I think it's clone or cone by chromatic alchemy in the UK so that's it there and it's like a bluey green it's not quite showing up the way it is in real life but it's a bluey green and I thought that might work possibly once again you know I'm open to suggestions and anyone's got any other suggestions that would be wonderful I have swapped over the NPIs for DMC so I did a conversion of that however my favorite dinky dies uh, these scrumptious delicious threads they are so beautiful and soft and buttery and I just love working with them that is it so we have Coba and seagrass we have stringy bark Matilda very Australian names Aussie gold of course we have to have Aussie gold Aussie gold and cherry wood beautiful colors absolutely scrumptious look forward to doing this this will be another start this year yeah, I'm, I'm really bringing on the starts this year but how, how can you not when you have such beautiful designs and it's just try and make sure I choose the right fabric and that I'm happy with everything so that I will be happy while I'm stitching there's nothing worse than not being happy while you're stitching now this next one now this is an interesting story i purchased a, the bella filipina autumn equinox pixie i'm not going to name the shop it's not an australian shop but i will not name it um, because i'm not into you know ridicule even badgering whatever i purchased all of this the the fabric beads um threads around the beginning of march 2022 yes we're talking about nearly two years ago when i purchased this kit and after a few months i kept messaging and emailing this company this shop and they never responded I even got them on messenger and they just kept ignoring my emails I kept ignoring my messages as to what status is my order up to I had spent well over 150 Australian dollars on this so it wasn't a cheap buy I after a year I figured I'm just going to have to cut my losses I'll never get this I sold my Bella Filipina pattern on Stash Unload. Now, last week I get a parcel and I thought, I don't recall buying anything so big, you know, there was a lot of stuff in here. And I open it up and it's my order from two years ago. They had just fulfilled my two year old order. Wasn't happy. 
I'm glad I got it. I had written it off and I wasn't going to do it. I sold the pattern because I thought I'm not going to repurchase all of these items of which I have already paid for. Let's just call it a loss. That's it. End of story. So I received everything from this shop. Bala Filipina, Autumn Equinox. I repurchased the pattern. I thought now I'm going to do it because I've got everything. So that's the pattern. I'm going to take the fabric out of the bag and I'm sorry for the plastic. This is the called for fabric. I don't know why I purchased such a big piece of fabric. It's a half, half yard, I'd say, but look at that. That's the called for. I'll show you the other side. I think it's pretty much the same. So I received a fabric. I've just got my dog here. She's sniffing me. I don't know why. <laughs> so beautiful fabric. That's in that. That's that is for the sixteen or eight. It's a sixteen count because it's got beads in it. So sixteen count. I'll just fold that up a bit so it's a little bit tidier. I received all the beads. This is everything that I had ordered, which I thought I would never get. All the beads. Chronic. Water lilies. And then I just put together all my threads and just some extras that I didn't have. So that they're all the DMC threads for it. So I'll be starting this at some stage this year. Excuse me while I pick this up. And I don't know when. I'm glad I got it. Wasn't happy with the service, but it could just have been me for some reason. They might be fine for their other customers, which is why I'm not going to say anything. But I'm happy I got it. I, that was such a shock. Wow, I just couldn't believe it. Okay, so moving on. We are going to go to my whips and I have worked on 10 whips. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is my mirror is my mirabilia okay which is the snow maiden i've changed the fabric on this three times i showed you a dark fabric a darker fabric which is 14 count the piece wasn't quite big enough so i went to a purpley sparkly opalescent fabric you just couldn't see it it was just horrible so I thought, what am I going to do? So I went through my fabrics again. I restarted this. So I had done a bit of stitching on this purple fabric, which I was doing a particular color and I couldn't even see it because it was blending so much with the thread. I thought, I am just not happy with this. I need to restart it. So I went through my stash and I found a Zweigart Ada 16 count cord Misty Blue. So this is a restart and that's all I that's all I managed to get done. But I think the colours are going to show up a lot better with this. So I'm going to keep going and um, I would like to get quite a bit of this done before I before I go to the Mirabilia retreat in February. So I, it will be a little bit of a focus. Just try and make it look a bit more, you know, just like want to get a bit more done of the, of the dress and the body. So that's my plan for that. So sorry, I'm just going to keep the charts here. The next one I worked on is Lindy Stitcher's Shining Fish. This has now become a focus now that I have finished the Lord's Prayer. So that's it there. So my focus until finished, I just keep working away doing these bazillion stitches. 
I am using, for all of those who are new, you may not have seen, I am using all the cord fall threads. Yes, and my delicious, scrumptious, dinky dyes. Yes, these are all my dinky dyes. Sorry, they're just, I've, I've put them on cards once I start using them. I'm using all the dinky dyes that are called for. Beautiful to work with. So I'll just pop it back into the bag. And I'm also using Treasure Braid for the fish tails. So they're all the Treasure Braids. They're actually easy to work with. I don't mind that at all. So let's pop that back in. I, I might open this up because I've done a bit of the fish at the top, which I would like she like to show you. So let me just open this up a little bit. I'm I'm working on an 18 count Ada. Let's have a look. It's a picture of this plus Ada. It's called Mystic. Now, as some of you will know, when you use when you buy a picture of this plus, the um, it tends to shrink. So this 18 count is probably 19 or 20. So why am I telling you all this? Because when I've used two threads, it's just far too thick and bulky. The stitches don't sit nicely. So not really happy with it. I wish I'd use one thread. This would have worked well with one thread, but I'm going to keep going. And you can see that I've reached the end there, up there, and I'm working on the body now. So I hope you can see that. I'm just trying to wrangle all this. So working on the body of it. So my goal is to just finish all the wording, finish all the wording, come along here and up the top there. It's a beautiful design, I love it, but I'll know next time, like with the other pattern that I'm using, the dinky dies, is to make sure, do I use two or one thread? Because it tends to be a little bit thicker, and I think that's, I didn't realize that, but I do know now, you, you learn, that's just how it is. All right, the next one I worked on is Ink Circles, Another Year Creep By. I'm using Wispy 18 Count Ada by an unknown dyer, and I'm using all the called for thread. I started this in October of 2023. I've done that one, I've done that one, and I have just completed that square there. And I love working on this. So what I tend to do is, at the beginning of the month, I tend to just focus on this, and I just do a square. That's what I do. And I love it because I love the colours. It's just, it's just great. Let me just move my needle minders. I don't know where the needle's gone. Oh no, it's still there. Good, good, good. I'm happy. Fold it up. So that's it there. So I've done that, that one there. And as you can see, beautiful colours. I'm just loving it. Having so much fun. So I'm going to work on the next square. So it's four squares along. So hopefully that'll be finished by the time you see me next time. I'm using all the cord four threads. And they're all classic colour work. I had to order another lot because I realised I wasn't going to have enough. And when I read the pattern carefully... The pattern was actually stitched one thread over two where I'm using two threads over one eight a square. So I knew that I wouldn't have enough threads. So I've ordered another lot of threads. As you can see, they're beautiful colors. Classic color work is a beautiful thread to use. And my original goal was to do one line, one row, which is four squares, but I'm just gonna keep going because I'm enjoying that stitch and why stop when you enjoy something? Next one, Turkish Delight by Rosewood Manor. 
that's beautiful i have a similar fabric my fabric's called don't forget the cranberries by river hut design on etsy i've used all the called for threads and i started this in in december of 2023 i've enjoyed working on this as well this is really really good i'm working on a first page and let's pop this behind So the first page kind of stops at the beginning of the D, but I've, I've continued my thread. If I still had thread on my needle, I just continued along with the pattern. So that's where I am. So now there are more letters down here. I'll continue on the letters and I'll complete that page and then I'll move on to the next page. But it, I'm really enjoying that. The colors are beautiful. The variegation is just gorgeous. You can see all the different tones, all the different colors. Greens, blues, light blues, pinks reds well beautiful beautiful so karen kluber was a designer just beautiful colors and of course you don't need to use the red if you're not into this kind of fabric you can choose whatever fabric you like it'll still be beautiful because it's just a beautiful pattern which just goes with everything moving on the next one is a carolyn manning sunset i'm just doing the big one here stitched on eight in count ada called orange blood oh, sorry blood orange by the stitching spot i started this in september of 2023 so it's one of my older ones this is planned for a finish now i have finished um two thirds of it so i've done all of that and i'm now working on the top of that column there this is yeah this is a plain finish for this year i purchased the hanger because i'm going to turn it into a hanger using all the cord four threads and i won't pull it out so i've i've finished all the bottom here and i've started the last column here this is just good stitching i'm going to take this to the mirabilia retreat because if if I'm not feeling too well, at least I can stitch on something that's fairly easy to stitch. So I'll take my Snow Maiden and I'll take that one to the Mirabilia Retreat. So that's my plan. Next one is Vift Vista's Australian flag. I am stitching this just on an 18 count white Ada. I decided to go white. Um... I decided that because it is such a big pattern, although I didn't mind stitching the white on that country mocha, it would have been a lot more work to do. I would have practically doubled the amount of stitches. So I didn't really want to do that. So I've decided to do it on the white and it's fine. It's coming along really well. I've just started in the top corner, as you can see, a bit of grey and, and, and the blue. So that's where I've started. Really happy with that. It's coming along really well. My next one is, I'll pop that there, is the Riolas. Now I was going to stop working on this. Yeah, so I was going to make this a UFO because it was a paper pattern. I couldn't highlight it because it had this gloss on it. I it, it was giving me so many problems and I became so frustrated that I thought maybe I just need to just stop because really, I mean, if I'm stitching, I, I need to be happy with what I'm working with. But I managed to get this into Saga and what a game changer saga is so for anyone who doesn't know saga is is similar to um your other programs like markup rxp for example where you can upload some patterns mainly russian patterns other patterns um excuse me on oh, my nose is still a little bit runny and 
it's a game changer it just made my life so easier so wow i just kept on stitching i was so happy that i was actually finally able to work on this so i won't be getting rid of it no way all right so i well, let me just do that it's on a 14 count ada which i got from the kit using three threads over one ada square I went from the neck and I did all of this so I'm going to do the bottom part of her and I'll show you the photo you see that white the white dress that's what I'm going to stitch up first and then I'm going to um, work my way up to the top but I could actually do this with Saga and yeah really really happy now so you will see progress on that one definitely now the next one is cuore batti cuore patini d'argento or silver skates this is aimed for a finish this year which i will do i have almost completed all this all all of this she's done I had to redo the tree here because the trunk was out by one stitch so i unpicked it and redid it i've got to finish the snow and then i'm going to start working across so let me just move that so that's it there so i've just got to finish the tree and the tree's all done she's all done now now I have half of the boy done, so I'll just continue with him and I've got to stitch the snow up. So that's coming along really well. So I mean it's it's pretty good. So I've done I've done half of him, so I've just got to do basically his legs and then come along here and do the tree. I can't remember if I did all this all of the wording. I've got a feeling I did, but I still has have the stars there. So that, that can possibly be a finish this year. It's coming along really nicely. I'll, I'll frame that once it's done. So yeah, using all the um, called for threads for that. Now the, the last whip that I have is Olga Gostin's Australian Heritage Architecture, this beautiful double story home. It's a lovely stitch I'm enjoying this one using kit fabric kit threads that's all the threads from the kit on 14 count Ada and I've opened I've taken it off the hoop so that, so that I could show you I'm just gonna grab that because I don't want the dog to think it's something that she can eat yeah I don't want her eating that so yeah I've done a, a bit of this enjoyed working on this it's actually starting to look like it's a house so that's it there so that's the bottom part of the house. So I'll still keep, I'll keep on working until I hit the very bottom. Then I'll move over and work my way up. So that's lovely. It's a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful stitch. Okay, so they're all the whips that I worked on this month. So what are my plans? My plan is to work on Shining Fish and to work on my Carolyn Manning because they are my next two plain finishes. So that will always be in my rotation. And then I'm going to use Whip Selector here. Yeah, this time I saved my details because I messed up last time. I was like, no, what did I do? So whip selector i'm just going to pop off my glasses because i'm just going to bring it up so i'm going to choose two whips using the whip selector and um those two will be included in throughout the month so here i go oh 
Okay, so it's the ink circles, which is, do I have it here? Another year creeps by, which is fine. I'm going to finish that square there. So that'll be on my, definitely one of my other whips that I'll work on. Yeah, well, we can't do ink circles twice. Let's just do it again. <laughs> Maybe it's going to tease me again. <laughs> Surely it's not going to do that. Okay, Gecko Rouge Poppy. Now, the Gecko Rouge, do I have it here? I think I do. One moment while I bring it out. I started and restarted. I started it on a, an 18 count um gridded ada and the grids were off it was playing with my head i couldn't work on it then i went to a 25 using 10 stitch but i think what i'm going to do because i didn't do much is i'm going to undo the 10 stitch and do one over one full cross on 25 count so i'm going to restart that again um but that's really good because this is going to make me restart it because I've been kind of putting it, been putting it aside. Now I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. But that's what I do. It won't take much to unpick what I've done because I haven't done much. Start it again and do one over one full cross on the 25 count. Yeah, that 18 count, the grids, if they're not in a right spot, it really does mess, mess with your brain or my brain. It doesn't take much for it to mess with, I can assure you of that. That's, that's how it is, that's life. Okay. So, I, well, yeah, so with plans, let's just talk about plans for a bit longer. So, I'm going to be walk, I'm working on Shining Fish. I'll work on the Carolyn Manning. I'm going to work on Poppy, which is Gecko Rouge, and the Ink Circles, Another Year Creeps By. I am going to the Mirabilia Retreat this month, which is around the 22nd, 19, I don't know, around then. Anyway, so I'm going to the Mirabilia Retreat. Now, because I'm going to be, that kind of falls in during the time when I would schedule my next floss tube. And the thing is, when I return from the Mirabilia retreat, I then am going to be staying at my daughter's house, house sitting and dog sitting for her while she goes away. And I don't want to bring all of my all of my stuff, which is quite a lot when I do a floss tube. So I thought, and please let me know what you think i thought i would make just a floss tube extra and call it a mirabilia floss tube extra and then show you all of my mirabilia patterns that i have i have quite a lot and also the nora corbett so i thought i might just do that it's easy to bring to my daughter's house and i can just film an extra and i can tell you i can also talk about the my experience my very first experience at a retreat i've never been to one so this is my first one and meeting nora wow that's just going to be amazing so let me know what you think that's my thoughts because once i return from my daughters we are then leaving to go away with the caravan so and i won't film when i'm away with the caravan because i won't take all of this all of this stuff so that's my plan for this month okay now i'd like to go i'd like to do a giveaway as a as a way of saying thank you to all of my subscribers i, I really really am so flattered that you have chosen my channel now I've stitched this, which you can see up there, and I would like to give this away to you. So, if you would like this pattern, and I will mail it all over the world, it doesn't matter where you are, please use the word BIRD, B-I-R-D, in the comments below. 
and now and I'm going to um, select the winners in my next floss tube not my floss tube extra my floss tube I would also like to give away um, this one here is called listen honey life's a stitch I did purchase it but I just don't think I'm going to stitch it but I would like to give this away to one of my viewers so I would like you to use the word honey h-o-n-e-y if you're interested in this one here so they're my giveaways to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet please do down below and press the like button lets me know how I'm how I'm doing as well all right so my next item of agenda is a shout out because I always like to do a shout out each floss tube I like to support the other floss tube as it's important because we are a community and we should stick together and rally together and support each other it's so important because we are doing the same thing that we love cross stitching and yes and there are people who are crafty and do other things and they and they might sew they might you know knit it doesn't matter but you know let's support each other it's so important so today I'm going to shout out an amazing Aussie cross stitcher her name is Nancy and her floss tube name is Bohemian Stitchery and my god if you haven't seen her you have to head over there I'm going to leave a link below she's funny she's great she's a very experienced stitcher she's been stitching for over 30 years and she was she also taught stitching so she's very experienced she has a great range of um whips she has lots of whips and i love watching her whips and especially when she does whip parades and that but she's so funny you know she's just she's just, she's just lovely to watch i enjoy her every time so nancy from bohemian stitchery the link will be below go there show her some love all right, now the next thing I'd like to show you are just items that I have purchased, acquisitions. I haven't done too much because I don't want to do too much. So the first thing that I'd like to show you is my drawer. Now, I just got this from Timu. I've been eyeing it off for a while and I thought, you know, I am just going to buy it now. It's just a timber, a timbered draw set so I've just got my Karen water lilies in the top drawer because I'm just hanging on the drawer but I want to keep them here and I had my sulkies just tucked away but now all my sulkies will be here so because I wasn't using them I just kept forgetting that I had sulkies and it's like oh my god I've got these sulkies that I can use I've never used so that now sits here as part of my decor, <laughs> my cross stitch decor. So that's one of my purchases um, this month. I also purchased um, a couple of fabrics from, oh my God, why can't I think of her name? One moment, I'm going to have a look because I have to, I've just got a blank as, as you do. So, I have purchased this from Paddock Lane Design here in Australia. Now, this is an 18 count called Moon Jelly. And um, I think that's all I need to tell you. How pretty is that? It's just a fairly neutral colour. I just thought it was beautiful. It's just a lovely tone. Um... I couldn't even, I mean, that is fairly true. It's almost like it's got a hint of pink, but it's not quite pink, but it's not quite this. It's just, it's just beautiful. So I bought that. So that'll go in my stash. And I bought Misty. Misty, this is a 20 count opalator. And... That's it there, and it's got... 
see if you can see you can see some of the sparkles and that's a lovely piece as well so I purchased that from Paddock Lane Designs and I saw another stitcher stitching this and I thought oh this is so cute I have to stitch it and make little pillows out of it Lindy Stitches so this is called Lindy Stitches um, Bunny Lace Trio. Aren't they beautiful? So I, I want to make pillows, of course, out of these. Um, when I saw this floss tuba stitching on this, I thought, oh, let me just see if I can find it. Um, I tell you, it was hard to find someone in Australia selling it, but I found a shop called The Stitching, The Stitch Shop, I think it's called. And I happened to have this in stock, and that was the only shop that had this in stock. So I was excited that I was able to buy it in Australia and not have to pay for postage, because postage can just be so expensive. My next purchase, which is a regular one, so when Mirabilia brings out a new char, Sabrina goes and buys it. I purchased this chart from A Stitch in Time in Tasmania. So that's it there. Lovely. Number 191 is called The Muse. So that'll go to my collection. You probably see this again in my Mirabilia Parade. And Vicky Stitch and Button, she's awesome. I watch her floss tube, I enjoy her so much. And I've bought a couple of things from her and it's like, but I haven't bought a bag. I need to buy a bag from Vicky Stitch and Button. So I did. That is so cute. And she's included, oh, she was so kind. She's included a, um, it's a needle and a little, it's 2023 um, thing. She's also given me project information card. Lots of stickers. So thank you for that. And I, I purchased from her because I do like these. Oh, I'll take it out of the bag because you can't quite see. Sorry, you could probably hear my dog barking. I thought that was gorgeous. So I picked that up from Vicky as well. I'm going to leave Vicky's details behind. She's Vicky from Stitch and Button. She has a Facebook group, which is where you can purchase all of these items. She, it's a beautiful quality bag. I mean, she, she does a really good job making bags so I now have a Vicky stitch and button bag and I'm happy I also I also sew bags so you say why do you buy bags because I just like different bags bags from other people not just my bags so but I decided to make make myself some bags so I made I had some fabric I this is all from a fat quarter bundle, but I bought two lots of bundles so that I could have two fat quarters to use for back and side. So that's my first one. And I just put a neutral zip and I just added a fairly neutral fabric. I just used leftover fabric that I had inside so that I can use it up. And this is from the same, same fat quarter bundle, same front and back. And I just used up that fabric that I had in stash. Um, these are good because my other smaller bags don't fit. Now, is it 11 by 11 um, Q-snap? This will. So I'm going to be changing those projects over to here so that I can actually put the Q-snap and the whole project inside. So that's going to fall. And it fell. It doesn't matter. So I'll change them over. I don't take my projects off their hoops or the cue snaps because I'm constantly working on them throughout the month. And if it's not this month, it's usually definitely the next month. So I do not take them off. 
if I plan not to work on them, then they're in the cupboard and they're off Q-snaps and they're off frames. And that's how I work. So which is why everything I have is always on a frame or has a dedicated frame or Q-snap to it. All right, let me just check my list, my handy dandy list to make sure I haven't missed out on anything. No, that's it. Well, that's it for my number 11 floss tube. I want to thank you all for coming. I hope you've enjoyed this floss tube. My next floss tube will be after my mirabilia retreat when you, and I'll be in a different location, which will be my daughter's home, looking after her two beautiful greyhounds. So until then, take care and I hope to I hope you do return. Bye.